quarterly sales. Highway 93. Toledo Wellness Center. All right now on Stellantis Spotlight. FCA US LLC numbers for the second quarter are in, and a total of 408,521 vehicles were sold. Overall, total US and retail sales for the second quarter declined, while total commercial shipments rose 13% versus the same quarter last year. Chrysler brand total US sales increased 95% versus the same quarter last year. Total U.S. sales for the Jeep Compass, Grand Cherokee, Dodge Charger, and Challenger all rose compared to the same quarter last year. The Jeep Wrangler 4xe remains the best-selling plug-in hybrid vehicle in the U.S., and Ram Brand's commercial shipments rose 9% over the same period last year. Join Dodge along Highway 93 this summer as they chart a course connecting 93 Dodge-inspired events and locations across America, one for each day of summer. The Dodge Highway 93 campaign runs June 22nd to September 22nd. For more details about the stops along Highway 93, visit DodgeHWY93.com. This week, Stellantis opened a comprehensive primary care health and wellness center in Toledo, Ohio, for the more than 9,500 employees and their families working and living within a 15-mile radius of the facility. The Toledo Center is the fourth health and wellness facility to open, following Kokomo, Indiana, Belvedere, Illinois, and Detroit, Michigan. The Toledo Wellness Center opens to patients on July 1st. And finally, as a tribute to U.S. military members, the Jeep brand is offering special limited edition Freedom Packages for the 2023 Gladiator and Wrangler Sport S models, featuring military-themed exterior and interior design cues. The brand will make a $250 donation to military charities with every Freedom Edition sold. Freedom Edition vehicles are scheduled to arrive at Jeep dealers in time for Veterans Day at a package price of $3,295 MSRP. Those are this week's top stories on Stellantis Spotlight. Reporting for Stellantis Digital Media, I'm Peter Spezia.